the idea of watertight compartments was kind of revolutionary. On Titanic, this came in the form of the watertight door, and the ship had a couple of different types. First is probably the most famous, seen here dramatically closing in the 1997 movie Titanic. These ran on rails and closed downwards. They were made of heavy cast iron, and in the boiler and engine rooms had to be wide enough for men to be able to pass through with coal-carrying wheelbarrows. The doors were held open by a clutch, and this could be released automatically by switches in the bridge, or individually by simply lifting a hand lever connected to the clutch. Each door could also be closed manually by hand cranking it shut from the deck above. And one final safeguard was installed. In the event of flooding, a float would raise the lever and disengage the clutch, lowering the door. The doors were designed to lower slowly at first so men could get out of the way, but for the last 18 or 24 inches, the door would drop suddenly like a guillotine to create a watertight seal. This guy in the movie would have been in big trouble. 